Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with intervals. So how do every x time something, in this case every second or every thousand milliseconds I print a line on the serial output of the Arduino and that line says how long the program is running from now on. Okay, let's start. First I declare some variables. In this case I have two variables with the type unsigned long and that means that I can store bigger values than I can store with an integer. So I have two unsigned longs, previous millis and current millis, and I have an interval of 1000. And later we are going to see how we are going to use them. Then I start with the setup. Okay, to start, um, in the example I want to print messages from the Arduino to the serial port of my computer so I can read serial strings. Because I want to do that, I have to set up a serial communication with a certain speed. In this case, I use a serial speed of 57,600 bytes a second. And you can pick different data rates, but this is kind of fast, but it's also stable enough. Okay, in the loop I'm going to use the millis function and with the millis function I get the time since the Arduino has started and I'm going to store that in the unsigned long because with millis it's really a big number because if I had stored that in an integer I can only store uh, 32 seconds than in milliseconds. The next part to do is to check the current millis with the previous millis and to check if that's bigger or the same as an interval. In this case I have an interval of 1000 milliseconds, so one second, and I'm going to check if that's true. If it's true, then I save this current millis as the previous millis. So what will happen is that, for example, here I read uh, 1000 millis, the previous millis is zero, and it's bigger or the same as the interval, so it's true. Then the previous millis is set to 1000, and the next time it's going to fire when this one is 2000, because 2000 minus 1000 is again bigger than 1000. So that way, every time the condition is true, every second or every 1000 milliseconds, the condition is true. Okay, the next thing what I want to do is to print a serial string and I can do that in three steps. I use serial print and then I write a string between the double quotes. So Arduino knows that this is a string and not some kind of variable. The next one is that I'm going to print the variable and you see I don't use the double quotes because if I use double quotes then it actually would print the word current millis but now I want to print the value of the current millis variable and then I'm going to end with a serial print line and line means that it does a return at the end of the sentence so it does every time a return Okay, here you see the result again in the serial monitor. What really important is that you pick the same data rate as the data rate that you set in your Arduino code sketch. Because if I pick another about rate, for example I pick this one, then you will see what happens. You see all strange characters because the serial monitor doesn't understand the communication speed you are working on. So really important pick the right baud rate and everything runs ok. Ok, here actually the same example but then with three intervals and I'm going to show you how you can do that easily. Um, first I have a constant with the amount of intervals and I'm going to reuse that again to set the length of an array where I can store the previous milliseconds. So here I store three values for previous milliseconds because I have three different intervals. Well the current millis is the same and then I make an array with intervals. In this case it's an integer because I wor work with small numbers and that has also the length of amount of intervals. In this case I made an interval of 1000 milliseconds, 2500 milliseconds and 5000 milliseconds. 
Well, the loop is actually kind of the same. Only one change is that I use a for loop. And the for loop is going to check every interval. So the first loop, it checks previous millis zero, is bigger than interval zero, and it stores the last intervals in zero. Then it goes to one, and then to two. Well, the only thing I have to do then is to print something. And I do that in this way. I do for each interval a line, print line, every second, every two and a half seconds, every five seconds. And of course, I only want to print this when the current interval is active. So in this case, when E is zero, it's the interval for one second, E is one, the other interval and E is equal to two for the five second interval. Okay, let's see in the example what it's going to look like. So every one second, two and a half seconds and five seconds, it prints a line.